So I find myself this week being just truly and utterly obsessed playing Death Stranding on PlayStation 5. I've been loving every single second of it. I'm already about 60 hours in. So if you go over to my Let's Play channel, you can see the uploads of all the streams I've done of the game already. And I am absolutely determined to finish the game 100%. So, and from what I've read, that will take 100 hours plus if I really want to get the Platinum Trophy. It probably will be the, if I get the Platinum Trophy, the one I'm the most proud of, of my entire list. So I don't know how you guys feel about Death Stranding. I know that the sort of delivery gameplay is not for everyone but for me and my personality type given that i'm ocd i'm a completionist and so on i love it you know i am absolutely loving it and it was very very frustrating at the beginning and there are some moments which are very frustrating but i try and change it in my brain it's sort of it's not frustrating it's challenging so um and therefore i need to just work to get through it and i think as well that's why i've been doing a lot this week and also I've, I've touched upon it in some of the previous videos is about the um reflection of self you know i've been talking about that a lot lately is what is my purpose you know what am i trying to achieve and also as well as a content creator how can i improve can i be more patient with the trolls in my comment section and so on how do i deal with the incredible loneliness that comes with being a content creator being Basically, I don't want to say locked in this room, I can go out any time, but generally you're alone in front of a camera. How do I deal with that and stuff like that? So um, I'm always trying to improve everything I do all the time. And generally, I would say it's going quite well, to be perfectly honest. I'm, I'm happy with the result. And also this week as well, I went through my Facebook and I updated all of the uh, descriptions of all of my gaming news videos because I used to label the videos as gaming news 20th of november 2021 and that would be the standard title and i would keep that consistent for all of the videos as they will come out but then i realized um this week that no no one's ever going to search for that who types in oh i wonder what the gaming news is for the 20th of november no one so instead i've changed all of the titles to actually be the title of the actual video that i put on youtube uh, which includes the headlines of each gaming news that I'm talking about and also as well I've um, again tried to standardize what I do so that I can do it every single day um, so I've written some scripts that help me write those comments consistently every day because um, I am trying to draw from my experience as a developer you know it's like why not and um, also as well um, I'm hoping next week to just carry on with what I'm doing the more gaming news or Death Stranding and so on and I had fun revisiting the crew too because they had a free weekend this weekend and I was included on the drops by Ubisoft so again thank you to Ubisoft for that and um, I want to say with the crew too especially there is a really good and supportive community behind the game like there's always people who are ready to come into the stream help you out and so on and tell you how to tune your cars and stuff like that so and it happened this time it happened the last time I, I streamed the crew and so on so um, not many games have got a really dedicated community like behind them but I found a game like the crew 2 does which I find very interesting um, so yeah and then um, also as well what I'm hoping this week is to maybe start working on my finance channel like I know I said it last week but I was so distracted and so busy because I'm just trying to make sure that I improve everything I do. So for example, if you go over to my Instagram, you will see I've implemented story highlights which point you to the different platforms, whether it's Twitter or YouTube or Twitch or Discord or whatever. And they also now include the clickable links. So hopefully as my Instagram grows, um, it will keep going. And that's another thing as well with Instagram is I'm trying to grow it legit. You know, it's like the problem with Instagram is that you can easily for like five bucks end up with like 50,000 followers, but they're fake. They have no engagement and so on. It just makes you look bad and so on. And then Twitch, uh, sorry, Instagram might then just go ahead and delete your account, <laughs> which is the last thing I want. So I'm trying to do it legit. Like I want my Instagram to really, really grow. And the same with my Facebook. So um, like everything I do, I'm trying to make it succeed eventually. So, and when I say succeed, I just mean like generate revenue and help me sustain my living. Cause it's what I was talking about also on my finance channel is about this idea of having multiple income streams and the importance of that. So I want 
Instagram to become an internet service premium. I want Facebook, you know, Twitch, and then YouTube, and so on. I want so many income streams. So if any one of them becomes weak, all the others will prop it up. You know, that's the idea of the multiple income streams. Because it is definitely a risk of being a full-time content creator. You know, it's very unstable. You don't know how much money you're going to make a month to month. You're going to be able to pay your bills, pay your rent, and so on. Like, but if you do really, really succeed, then, you know, some content creators become millionaires. So that's the, I think that's the thing that a lot of people work towards. But in my case, I've got 10 years as a developer that I can fall back on. And I've got 10 years commercial experience on my CV. Um, whereas I have said it before, I feel it is too big of a risk for example to leave school to become a content creator I, I think that is a very big risk some do succeed of course but at the same time some people you know very young go to hollywood at 14 to become actors you know what i mean so and only the very few succeed there's probably a big list of people who fail but i will just keep going as well because i'm i'm in a lucky position now where i'm able to pay all my bills and sustain myself, especially now that I become debt free. So my overhead and my bills each month are so low, I'm easily able to support myself on a monthly basis. And also as well, what I've learned over the years is that I don't need money, you know, like, um, I, well, I need money to live, you know, I need to pay my bills and eat and stuff. But beyond that, I don't need a lot of money to be happy. You know, I just need to have a stable um, life. And that's all, that's it, that's all I want. And with the work I'm doing, that's all I'm trying to achieve as well. And me making, for example, the gaming news, I'm making it because I really enjoyed making them. That's why I'm able to make them every single day is because I love making the content, you know, because for me, it's about keeping informed about everything that's going on in the gaming industry. Like when I was a kid, when I was really young, I used to read all the latest PC magazines and so on to keep myself up to date with technology and stuff like that, because it was really evolving at the time. And, um, now that I'm just a full-time gamer, I keep myself up to date every day with what's going on with gaming news. And hopefully as well, me making those two to three minute videos every day help you guys about, you know, to stay informed about everything that's going on in the gaming industry as well. well and, and everything that I will consider interesting. There's always a lot of speculation. Is this company going to work on this? Are they going to do that? Is this game hinting at that? Is that game hinting at that? And so on. But for me personally, that's not news. You know, news for me is basically they've patched this game, they've announced this game, they've dedicated this much money to this project, and so on and so on and so on. So um, I try to define everything I'm doing all the time. So anyway, guys, I think that's enough for this week, you know, to talk to you guys about everything that's going on in the life of Mifri. So um, also as well, let me know what have you been up to lately. And we're still at this point waiting for Endwalker. So hopefully when we get back into Endwalker, we will see what it is like. So this is my vlog channel. Every Sunday I do an update vlog about everything that's going on in my life. These videos are a bit more personal than the videos on my other channel. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next Sunday. Thanks guys. Bye bye.